Hi everyone! Today we're going to make a natural science educational project to explain light and the creation of shadows when light interacts with opaque objects. We're basically going to have a source of light, which will be the sun, and an opaque object, for example this apple, and another sprite, which will actually create the light rays and will stop either when touching the edge or when touching the opaque object. And finally, we will code it so that it runs instantly and we don't have to wait to see the shadow. And I will give you some more ideas to improve your project, as I usually do. All right, so if you are ready, let's get started. So let's begin adding the sprites. First of all, the sun and then an opaque object. I'm gonna take the apple, but you can take any object. Let me make the sun a little bit smaller. And this time I'm not gonna get rid of the cat because I'm gonna use the cat to draw the light rays. Well, uh, in fact, you can use any sprite to, to draw the light rays. I'm gonna make the cat as small as possible. I'm gonna set size to one. And as you see, the minimum size is five. And I'm going to go to Backdrops to convert it to Bitmap. And with the Paint Bucket, I'm going to make it black. So let's go back to the code. And basically the program is going to be this. Um, the cat is going to start from the sun and is going to move pen down. I will explain to you what that is later. And it's going to trace a yellow line. It will stop when it touches the edge. It will go back, turn one degree, and another line. Go back, another line. Go back, another line. And when it is touching the apple, it will also stop, because if it continues, we are not creating the shadow. So when touching the apple, it will stop, will go back, will turn, make another uh, ray, stop when touching the apple, go back, and so on. So first of all, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to add the pen, which is what we need. What I was saying, um, well, I'm going to do it with the apple so that you see it clearly. Look, um, if pen is up and I move the apple, it doesn't paint anything. But, well, pen up basically is when you move the pen up, you are not touching the piece of paper. So if you are not touching the piece of paper, you cannot paint. Pen down means that I move the pen down and I'm touching the piece of paper. So if I move the apple with the pen down, it traces a line, all right? So I'm gonna erase all, I'm gonna take the apple here and let's begin coding. I'm gonna go to scratch and in event, well, we could do when green flag clicked or when space key pressed. When space key pressed, uh, first of all, I'm gonna make sure I move the pen up so that I'm not touching the paper. Let's say the cat is over here. So pen up so that I'm not touching the paper. And now with the pen up, I'm gonna move the cat to the sun. So go to sun. I'm gonna press space. So now the cat is here and I can put the pen down. I think before that, at the beginning, I'm going to do some things, which could be this. Look, when green flag clicked, I'm going to set pen color to yellow because I don't want to have blue light rays. Um, set pen size. This is how big, how not how big, how wide these lines are. We can leave this number and later we will change the, the pen size and you will see the different results that we can obtain. And finally, what is the direction the cat is going to be pointing in at the beginning? Let's say, for example, 45, which is this. And when we're moving the direction of the cat, we will reach okay, other numbers. So that could be. So as we were saying, when space keep pressed, the cat uh, goes to the sun and moves the pen down. With the pen down and pointing in this direction, now we can move the cat. 
as we have to move uh, the cat a lot, we're going to repeat this movement. So let's put repeat until. So the cat is moving. And when does the cat have to stop? Okay, it has to stop when it is touching the edge or when touching the apple. So the cat is going to repeat this until. And I put an or. Until touching the edge or touching the apple. After this, it's going to turn one degree and again go to the sun to repeat the process. So it will turn one degree and then repeat this process. I'm gonna do one thing. Uh, when space key pressed, the first thing we're going to do is erase all. So that I press and it draws. It has stopped. So now basically it has to repeat this and this and this many times. I'm gonna put the apple here so that you see what happens. As you see, when it touches the apple, it stops. And now that it's not touching the apple anymore, it completes and, and paints the, the, the rest of the screen. Logically, I don't wanna be clicking here whenever I want to repeat this. So I have a loop, which is gonna be repeat 100 times, for example. I place it here and now green flag. Oh, well, uh, maybe this point in direction could be here. Let's begin. As you see it works, but it takes a long time and I don't want you to fall asleep. So maybe you are wondering, Diego, is there a way to do it instantly? And the answer is yes, of course. Look, um, I'm gonna go to my blocks and I'm gonna make a block called light up. And I'm gonna select this run without screen refresh. I'm gonna pass it here and all this, this repetition, is what has to be done instantly. So I put the block light up here, which is the same as all this, which is run instantly. And now only by pressing space, this is done. I'm gonna move the apple. I press space. And as you see, this works very well. So what you have here is the basic project. This is very good, but probably you wanna make an excellent project. And to make an excellent project, I'm gonna give you some ideas to make it better. For example, um, probably you know that a complete circumference has 360 degrees. So if I repeat this 360 times, as I'm turning one degree every time, I'm gonna complete all this. So I can put this anywhere, space bar, and look, I complete it. Other things we were saying, um, if I change this, which could be here as well, all this could be here, okay? And we would get rid of the green flag. If I set pen size to three, as you see, this is quite different because these lines are three pixels wide and not one. If I set this to 10, I basically complete the whole, the whole screen. All right, more things we can do. Probably you're wondering if we can add more objects. Obviously we can. I'm going to add, for example, a bat and I'm gonna put it here. But look, when I press spacebar, the light rays or the cat, the sprite, stops when touching the apple, but it doesn't stop when touching the bat. Why? Because we haven't coded it yet. Okay, in the cat we said that it has to move until touching edge or apple. 
but not until touching the bat. So we need an or. All this is gonna be here. And in this space we add touching bat. Now space bar and that works. Another thing we can do uh, here in the addition uh, screen Obviously, we can move the object, but if I am trying my game, I can't. So, to be able to move the object here, when I am actually playing, I'm gonna go to uh, the sun, and I could put, when green flag clicked, it's here. Set drag mode to draggable, okay? So that you can drag the sun. Look, now I can drag it but I can't drag these two, so I'm gonna pass this to the apple, and I'm gonna pass this to the bat. Green flag, and now these three are draggable, and I can drag them, all right? And with this, you have an excellent project. If you wanna make it brilliant, um, you could add some uh, variables. For example, if I want to control the pen size if I want to control this from the game, I can create a variable called pen size. In this variable with right click slider, I make it into slider. And with right click change slider range, the minimum could be one and the maximum 10. So I'm going to set pen size to this variable, so I put this here. Now, if I put here an 8, we're setting pen size to 8. So, before you press spacebar, make sure you click on the screen. And as you see, I'm gonna move the object and I'm gonna set pen size to 6. Okay, so that works. And another thing that you could add, for example, I'm just gonna do it in one of the objects, but you could do it in both of them, is that we can control the size of the apple from the game, or the size of the bat as well. Uh, it's quite similar. I'm gonna make a variable, which is going to be apple size. Again, right-click slider, right-click change slider range, and the size could go from 5 to 300, for example. Now in the apple, after this, I could put forever, set size to what I have here. So in variables, apple size. So you will see. Now apple size is tiny because this is zero, but if I increase it, it sets pen size, so pen size, apple size to this number. So now I can move the apple, I can move the bat, you could create another variable for the bat size and do the same as I've done in the apple. And space bar, and I create the shadow. So this is the project, guys, to study shadows and light and how light interacts with opaque objects. I hope you liked it. And please do not forget to send me the project when you have them done. All right? See you guys. Bye-bye.